So let's dig a little deeper into that winter forecast. A lot of this is going to be driven at least initially by something we call La Nina. What is La Nina? Well, we've got trade winds out here in the Pacific Ocean that typically push warm water toward Asia. In certain years, though, these trade winds are extra strong, so they move that warm water away, and that allows upwelling of cooler water, so we get a cooling of the waters in the Pacific. You say, okay, John, what does that have to do with what happens here? Well, with the cooler waters down here in the Pacific, that changes the jet stream pattern, and what that tends to result in is cooler than normal conditions across the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier states, warmer than normal conditions across the south, and here in the Ohio Valley, we tend to see wetter than normal conditions. The winter forecast here it is from NOAA. They're calling for near normal temperatures for us in the Ohio Valley this winter. Could be a little bit colder than normal, a little bit warmer than normal. Equal chances of that, but near normal would be the forecast. Again, across the northern tier states, below normal, warmer than average across parts of the Carolinas, Florida, and out through the desert southwest. This is the big thing, though. Typically in La Nina winters, we're wetter than normal. No, that doesn't mean it's all rain. This is a combination of rain, of snow, of sleet, of freezing rain, of every kind of precipitation that tends to be above normal. How much falls as snow? How much falls as rain? We just don't know because that's controlled by shorter term types of weather changes. That said, in a typical La Nina type pattern, I would guess that we'll probably see at least average, if not above average snowfall. A lot of that depends on the temperatures, but it looks to be an active winter with normal levels of winter cold and likely normal or above normal levels of snow.